Hey guys, it's Arcade and I'm back with another video and I'm pretty excited to be back. I've been on a vacation and stuff like that, but now it's time to make some more videos. And today I'm going to create a song using only Flex as the plugin. And Flex, if you don't know, is the new FL Studio plugin. You can get it for free if you update your FL Studio, you'll get it automatically. And it's kind of like Nexus, but for FL Studio. I would compare it to that a little bit and it focuses more on the presets. So you are not going to use this to create sounds, but you're going to use the presets that they have here. And finally, they also have some cool sounding pianos. I think that's something that was missing from FL Studio and you even get strings and stuff like that. I really hope they include more packs over time and you can also buy some packs here but I'm only going to be using the ones that are for free but yeah I hope they do some genre specific packs like future house pack or future base pack that's kind of what I would like to see but so far I'm really happy that they created this plugin and I'm excited to try it out and see if we can make a proper song with it so yeah guys that's pretty much what we're gonna do today and also I want to thank you one more time for reaching 100,000 subscribers I already got the button here so yeah, I got the 100k silver play button. I was really excited to get this. It's super cool. Let's see if we can get FL Studio in it. Yeah. Yeah, so thanks for that. I mean, it's pretty crazy. I never thought I would reach that many subscribers when I started my YouTube channel. But we did. Anyways, now let's get to the video itself. I don't want to waste your time no more. So let's get started. I'm not sure what type of song I want to create, but I think I'm going to figure it out while testing out the sounds. So let's go to all sounds. Let's just, uh, let's just go through them and see what we got. Okay, that now this sound right away, I would think I would create like 80s retro song or something like that. So let me actually use that sound, but let's go to bass. Okay, I, I've, I've got an idea. It's gonna be like 110 maybe. It's just one idea, maybe I'll change my mind right away, but this could be like a retro, like new disco, not new disco, but this retro type beat. Wow, I haven't made music for a while, now I don't know how to make melodies or something. Wait, what? What was the bass note? It's F sharp. Okay. Whoa. Why did the camera get so dark? Okay, I just had to readjust the camera. In reality, it's just my phone, but yeah, I guess the sound sound went behind the cloud and the camera got all fucked up. Anyways, let's continue. Yeah, I know what this reminds me of. It's like a song from the movie Drive, but that's fine. Yeah, maybe the, it's too similar. Let's try to make different chords. Dude, the sun is fucking me up. Okay, so if the <laughs> if the camera keeps changing. That's because this is the professional quality YouTuber that I am.
Okay, I like this chord progression. The melody needs work, but that's pretty good. Okay, now we got the melody, maybe. Let's do the drums. They are pretty important here. And of course, Kashmir's back. So where else would I go for drums? Vintage. Maybe even lower the BPM. Okay, we got fruity reverb. And of course we gotta sign chain everything. So let's route this to track number eight and take the kick. Sign chain track number eight. Limiter sign chain one. Bam. Okay, the sign chaining is too much for the lead. So for the lead, we're gonna do a different sign chaining. And we, we need bigger drums. Okay, let's go move on to the another sound. And that will be some chords, the way we do it. Just delete all of these. Quantize it. I mean, quick legato. And then choose a sound for the chords. Yeah, hey, not that one. Keys. Yeah, hey, something like this. It's just... I still feel like the drums are not as good. Okay, let's uh, put a limiter on the whole thing. Oh, there's fruity limiter. What? No. What? Why did I put fruity limiter in default again? I thought they deleted that. And that fucked up everything. Let's hear how it sounds without it. completely different. I mean, all the sounds were pushed down. I fucking hate Fruity Limiter. Now the whole mix is off. I didn't know it was on the master channel again. They deleted it before. Whatever. Now let's try to mix it without it. Now we got the drum super loud. I mean, that's maybe better even. Let's put the wave candy in here. And let's mix this properly. So we got the kick at minus four, the snares. Okay, the snares. The snares, that. I think this club is not good. So let's try to change it. Okay, the snare is too loud, but it can be a bit louder. Okay, how are the bass sounds? Super loud as well. And this one. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, we can still lower the snare. Probably this is better. Now 
No, 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 this snare is not good. Uh, something is not right. I got an idea. This might be a bad idea. <laughs> but it's an idea. Maximus. In a compression. Yeah. This is kind of what I want for the sound. But then again, it's too loud. We can lower the gain something. Oh yeah, it's better without a clap. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's more like it. Okay, maybe some hats. And let's go back to the melody. Okay, instead of this melody, maybe let's go with some arpeggios, see what we can do there. Maybe faster ones? Let's see if we can change this bass. Okay, let's make some intro to this as well. With some paths, perhaps. Sure, there are some good paths. And now. Maybe some soft lead. Maybe a piano. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, and now we get back to the original melody. Sorry, I haven't been talking a lot. I've just been thinking a lot about what I do. Because for a while there, I felt like 
this is going nowhere, but finally, I feel like I got something. What was the first sound we had? That was a good one. Um, it was somewhere... And one last thing, we're gonna put one note of string playing throughout the whole second part. Just like this slow one, maybe. It's gonna be F. Okay, so that is pretty much it. Now let's hear the finished results. Okay guys, that is pretty much it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, it was a lot of fun to make and a lot of struggle as well, it wasn't easy, it took me like an hour, and but hopefully you like the finished result. The new plugin is pretty cool, I really hope they expand it as far as uh, the presets go. I'm really happy that FL Studio, that image line decided to make this plugin something FL Studio definitely needed. So yeah, check it out for yourself, and as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.